Welcome back to the Red Carpet Reup, where we peel back the curtain on the glitz and glamour of the entertainment world to reveal the raw and often unseen realities of the industry. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to never miss out on our exclusive content. Today, we're delving into a story that's as shocking as it is revealing. Freddie P., once a pivotal member of a group formed under the watchful eye of Diddy during the reality show Making the Band, has come forward with some serious allegations against his former mentor and music mogul, Diddy. In a recent sit-down with The Art of Dialogue, Freddie didn't hold back. He described a particularly tense day that changed everything. It started like any other, in the studio, but the atmosphere quickly soured. According to Freddie, the altercation escalated rapidly, culminating in a threat that would push anyone to their limits. Diddy allegedly threatened to buy every house on Freddie's block, turn off the lights, and put his life in grave danger. A chilling scenario that paints a stark picture of the pressure and intimidation that can exist behind the scenes in the music industry. But the story doesn't end with just a threat. Freddie revealed the mental and emotional toll it took on him, leading him to contemplate actions as drastic as murder and suicide. Freddie P., a former rapper from the band, claimed he left the group after Diddy allegedly threatened his life. The 43-year-old described a heated confrontation with Diddy that marked a point of no return. I was already in a bad mood that day in the studio, snapping at everyone. I didn't want to deal with anyone, he said. According to Freddie P., during an argument in front of others, Diddy threatened, I'll buy every house on your block, shut off all the lights, and make sure you get shot every time you step outside. This, this nigga threatening you, it hit different. You hear what I'm saying? Like, and I'm a gangster. Like, I done been in real sh Real, I done seen it. I ain't got to talk about him. Just tell you, ain't nothing he can show me that I ain't seen. You get what I'm saying? So when he said this to me, uh, it hit a nerve. It was like, it was on some sh Like, um, one day I woke up, I was in the mood. I'm in the studio, I'm snapping, whatever. I don't want to be f with it. You know, when you're around a bunch of goofies, you're a street nigga. Sometimes you don't want to be around the nerds. Sometimes the nerds irritate you. So, so I'm in that bitch. I'm just, I'm just frustrated with a lot of shit that's going on. Anyway, we get in a situation. He go to, we in front of everybody. Nick like, um, he was like, man, money, um, man, what you think you bad or something? He was like, Nick, I buy every house on your block. Shut every light off on that bitch, and when you come out, every time you come out, that bitch you'll get popped. So when another nigga tell you some shit like that, you like, well, get your animated ass out of here, goofy ass. You feel what I'm saying? When he tell you some shit like that, you go to picture him purchasing every house. You go to picture every light on the block going off, and that shit silenced me. And for you to make that, people ask why I left the band. Like that's why I left the band. Like that's why I didn't do Dave Chappelle. This like, threat left Freddie P. shaken, and ultimately led to his departure from the group. This departure explains his absence from the infamous parody skit by Dave Chappelle. Freddie P. also shockingly admitted that the confrontation pushed him to the brink, even considering taking lethal action against Diddy. Though he never acted on these thoughts, Freddie P. has voiced his grievances against Diddy before, blaming him for his profound unhappiness. Just this year, I've thought about suicide several times. He shared in a previous Instagram video, reflecting on his struggles and the impact of his tumultuous relationship with Diddy on his mental health. The band was formed under Diddy's guidance on the reality show, Making the Band, which aired for three seasons from 2000 to 2002 and produced other groups like Danity Kane, Day 26, and Donnie Klain. The first season of the show, which produced O-Town, was managed by Lou Pearlman, a different music executive known for his controversial practices. For more stories like this, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the Red Carpet Reup.